How's it going, my friends? Welcome back to another ladder battle here for your daily dose of Brood War. We've got Jadon up in the top left-hand corner. His opponent, Rush, down here in the bottom left. The qualifiers are now finished for the ASL, and these two players could end up fighting it out in the ASL, so I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at them today. Of course, it's always fun to watch some Jadong, but... I think it's especially good to watch him now. Also, I, I went through today on stream about the ASL qualifiers, and some of the results were really shocking, actually. Queen didn't make it through. Kind of crazy to see that, man. He got knocked out by a player that I didn't even know existed. Some nameless person who then got knocked out in the next round by someone else I've never even heard of. And that person even got knocked out as well. So Queen, far from, like, not even close to actually, actually qualifying this season. Pretty insane. Um, Barracks, and uh, you know what? I won't talk about it all. It's on my live stream. I might make a video out of it, uh, my reaction to all of the qualifiers. Uh, and so, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. We're gonna have a pool here, over pool coming from Jadong, and I'm gonna be paying special attention to Jadong's build here because I've been having a very hard time on the ladder recently against Terran. Uh, currently, probably my weakest matchup, actually. Uh, struggling very hard to take down Terran players. Uh, so I'm looking for guidance here from my man Jadong. We're going to have, what is this, 9 drone? All right, 10 drones here. The 11th drone actually out chasing this SCV, and we haven't thrown down a gas yet. With four lings out on the field. Is it finally time for a gas? It looks like we are going to take this. Oh, maybe that was a mistake there. Not getting that gas yet. He does grab a third base over here at the 12 o'clock. Interesting choice from the donger. SCV going to continue to be chased here by these four lings. And traditionally speaking, it's not the best to have, you know, a pool, an overpool build against Terran. But we'll see what Jadon can make out of this game with the three hatch play and the third hatch at a third base. Should be interesting. We're going for common plus one timing from Rush. We're gonna be grabbing our academy here in a moment. That plus one is going to be very fast. That'll give Rush a decent move out timing. But he won't be able to put on a lot of early pressure. Unless he wants to move forward with just these first few Marines. I doubt he'll be able to deal any damage. I think he'll much rather just stay home. Wait for the plus one. Range and stim to come into play. And then he'll be ready to push out onto the map and really take some map control, some presence. I don't think he'll be able to force out any sunken colonies here, which is great for Jadong. Gonna be getting that layer down now. Maybe with the third base and the gas being as late as it was, maybe he can still force sunkens, we'll see. You can put two Sunkins right here, and it makes it pretty hard to break up either of these ramps. Three Sunkins in the natural is definitely necessary. Spire on the way. If you're going to be utilizing those for the defense, you're going to want at least three. This is flat ground after all. The Marines are going to get good surface area on that, and Lings are popping out now. So we've gone up to 22 drones. We've got full saturation here in the natural, on the minerals at least. Not quite full saturation in the main base. 
Then four drones here at the third. And he starts making lings. Okay, some more drones are on the way now. I wonder where these drones went. He did throw down a spire, but... He had nine drones here before. Oh, running up on these marines. This is a great opportunity to get some big kills here. Oh, man. He gets the jump on Rush before he can really start to move out. Great blocking here, but eventually this medic will fall. More marines starting to pop out. And can he hold on? It looks like he will. Wow, this little flood of links here paying off brilliantly for Jadong. And now he's in full control of this game. Absolutely full control. I did not expect Rush to move out there. You know, this is not the right timing. We have nearly plus one. And range, of course, is just now on the way. So the timing where this Marine Medic Ball is actually strong is in about a minute from now. So a minute ago when he decided to move out, it was probably the weakest point for this Marine Medic Ball. So that's... uh. That's a bit confusing to me. I'm not sure why Rush decided to do that. But it ends up paying off very, very well for Jadong. And now he's going to put on the pressure with the Mutas here. Going to be able to pop out a lot of them. Going up to 29 drones and immediately throwing down Queen, Queen's Nest and an Evo Chamber. Hydroden, I think, is on the way as well. There it is. Coming into the main base here. Turrets are on time. A bit of a later Mutalist timing, but it's okay. About 30 seconds to a minute behind when they should be arriving here, but he's already done so much damage with the early lings. I think he's going to be feeling absolutely fine. We have finished the plus one now and the range, so lings coming running in here. They're not going to be able to do too much. Trying to catch the mutas on the exit, but not quite able to do so. Taking one swipe there. He's actually got enough lings, maybe. He hasn't really added on many more mutas. We're only at seven. So making this transition off of seven muta. Not bad for Jadong. He hasn't really invested that much into these. He will start a couple of sunkins back at home as well. Just to make sure. He's got some defense in case Marines slip around past these units. Spreading out the links every which way right now. I think he just managed to spot this on the tail end of his vision maybe. That would really suck if he barely missed this Marine Medic Force. Looks like he is going to see it now with the Lings. There we go. Has been spotted. Unfortunately, these Lings still in that control group will be bro broken off for now. Coming forward. Going to find this big group of uh, Muta and Ling. Going to get in between the rally point. The reinforcing units here and the main force out on the map. A great job picking off quite a few of these Marines. He's even catching more rallied units here. And the medic goes down as well. Great play from Jadong so far. His hive is done and his greater spire is on the way. You'll love to see it. We don't have any upgrades for these mutas, but we are going to have a pretty significant guardian timing coming up here soon. Double star port coming out. I wonder if he's waiting like... I wonder if he's building this just in case Rush scans and goes for... Maybe he will go for some wraiths. Uh, if you know what I mean. Let's see what he sees right now. He scanned this base. So he sees the sunkins over here. And I think he saw the evolution chamber as well. So really... Jadon going in a lot of different directions at the same time right now. He's getting like multiple, multiple different techs. He's going for the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was this a hold position lurker right there? I actually completely missed that. We'll get that in picture in picture a little later. That might have been a hold position lurker that I just missed. Could have been a pretty brilliant play there. But slows down a little bit. This movement from Rush. Rush going to come up. That was actually... I think it was... Was it not Rush? I think Rush versus Soul Key in the last ASL finals. And Soul Key got the kill on Rush. Maybe that wasn't the finals. He managed to clutch out the victory against Rush with a, a hold position lurker play. It is a fantastic way... To take advantage of a Terran player who's moving out before science vessels are ready. Some 
Guardians being morphed here in the main. We're going Guardian, Defiler, Crackling, Lurker, a second Evo Chamber. Can we really afford all of this right now? Jadong. I mean, he's stretching himself pretty thin. There's two Lurkers here behind these two Sunkins. Drop ships coming into the main, but Guardians are there to defend it. This is a beautiful position to defend from for a player like Jadong. Look at this. He's going to run forward and try to gun down some of... Oh, man. Oh, going to use the Dark Swarm against the Guardians here. That is unfortunate. This army, these units do not pair well together. The Defiler and the Guardian absolutely counteracting each other. Another drop going to come in, I think. Yeah, more drops going to come into the main here. Guardians will be defending the mineral line for now. He thinks about flying into the main and dropping off, but thinks better of it, turns around and flies away. That was a bit hectic there. Things got a little dicey when he dropped the Dark Swarm to protect the, the Hydras and the Marines just ran underneath it to utilize it against the Guardians, but he manages to hold on. He hasn't really lost too much here. Is that 46 worker? His three base economy is pumping along here. He's invested quite a lot into these guardians and hasn't really got too much out of them, but now he's going to make a w his way over here to the bottom left into the natural. He will be able to throw down a dark swarm. This is a huge play. The fact that Rush didn't have something up on this high ground, really, really unfortunate here for our Terran player. He's starting to take this base down at the bottom center. So not all of his SCVs are here in the natural, and he might be able to save the majority of them. But this is a huge loss, and yeah, Rush actually taps out, making some serious errors this game. Not having Marines up here, one of those massive errors, moving out when he's going for the plus one and late range play, right before he has that you know the value really kicking in from those upgrades unfortunately deciding to try and move forward and it really uh bites him in the butt there takes away his presence in the early mid game and jadong just able to run away with that with all the different techs looks like he was going into hydralis defiler play off of these three bases did a fantastic job holding the drops the guardian play was uh, questionable but it seemed to work out fine for him here. And he takes away game number one. We've got one more here, guys. So don't go away. We're jumping into that right now. All right, our next map will be La Campanea. Which is fantastic. I do love this map for a bit of ZVT. Not necessarily if I'm playing it, but watching it is a lot of fun. It's all right to play, honestly. It's not that bad. Does have some funny uh, features, but yeah, generally not my favorite map. I'm not really a big fan of retro either. It's an all right map, but um, feels a little played out. I've lost a lot of games versus Protoss on that map. I'll tell you what. I really need to uh, get my like late game on retro up. It is very hard to prevent. Protoss from taking a bunch of bases on high ground on that map. And that's what they like to do. They like to just send out the probes, build pylons on high ground, and just start cannoning. Very difficult, very annoying to deal with, but that's neither here nor uh, now. <laughs> here or there. Right now, we've got Rush here. Starting out with a wall here at his front. This is a very nice little wall in. You can put a, another Supply Depot right there. And then you've only got that one gap to deal with. One SCV there. Some Marines. That's going to make you completely safe against what Jadong is doing, which is an overpool with a gas. So he likes... He, he's kind of liking this early aggression here, it seems. Getting this very early gas. I think he'll get 100 and go for speed. And then pull off, which is not going to really pay off for him here in this game I don't think Rush is going to have that perfect little wall in and Jadong's just not going to be able to do much with this I feel 
He's going to pop two lings. There's that 100 gas straight into layer, interestingly. That is a very quick layer. And he sees the timing on the hatchery. He knows it's not a 12 hatch here. And he sees the lings. So, oh, actually, he's going to kind of maneuver around this here. Move or, maneuver around those lings and find his way into the main where he sees the timing of the lair. And alarm bell's got to be ringing right now for Rush. This is a very fast lair. I don't think this is even possible to do a lurker build on this uh, with, with this build here. I don't think you can go lurker with the lair this quick. It's you're, you're not really going to be able to afford it, I think. Or at least afford enough lurkers to make an impact. But... If you keep building Muta, eventually you can get to a decent number of Muta. Even with a build like this. Where you're sacrificing a lot of economy. You're going to be able to get those Mutas out very quickly. And then slowly over time you'll build up to a number that's actually formidable. I think that's what we're going to see out of Jadong here. He will be throwing down his Spire in a moment. There it is. Just wanted to push back this uh, SCV here before doing so. And looks like he will get the kill on that. So that is very nice. Some drones going to be popping out here shortly. Looks like he might have gotten supply blocked. I'm not sure why he popped two OVs at the exact same time. And started a lot of drones at the same time as well. I think that might have been a supply block. You know what's the most annoying thing in the world, guys, as a Zerg player? I think one of the most annoying things there is, is when you are doing macro rounds and you want to build just one overlord and you accidentally build three or two in your early game. Oh my god, it's so painful. I mean, it's less painful than getting supply blocked, but good goodness, it's easy to do. It is very, very easy to do when you've got a bunch of larva selected to accidentally press whatever key you have binded for an overlord rather than the key you meant to press or misclick because usually you'll select larva and then select one larva and hit overlord but sometimes that just doesn't go to plan and when it messes up man it hurts so so bad academy here is done and stim is on the way the engineering bay a little bit earlier compensating for the fact that this spire was so quick Looks like he will get these turrets started on time. You can see the mutas are only about halfway made. And the engineering bay is about to finish. So as long as he starts the turrets right as the engineering bay finishes, he's going to be 100% fine here. Let's start these turrets now. He's got the SCVs ready. Where are the turrets? Waiting for the money. Not going to be building any SCVs here. Focusing on marine production and turret production right now. Midas are heading across the map. It's all in this gambit right now. Jadong is going to take a base behind this. Going to try and get that third gas online. But it is a very dicey situation here for our Zerg. He needs to deal damage with these Midas. And we'll see what he can get done here. Turrets in very good position. Continuing to add them on as well. Three turrets here in the natural. One turret in the main and this is a play that actually i kind of struggle at dealing with is when you're going for muta and you're planning to get damage with them and then you arrive and find out that the terran player has just way over prepared for your mutas looks like he's almost gonna get the kill on that turret unfortunately not able to coming in getting a kill on a marine but paying dearly for it a big shots going on to these mutas as well. He loses another one, two mutas. And what I was saying earlier, it still applies. You are going to be trying to grow this mutalist count to a point where it becomes very formidable, where it's difficult to deal with. But he hasn't gotten to that point yet, and he's not going to get there if he keeps losing mutas like this. Coming in, gets one snipe off, but loses a lot of health on one of these. Really does need to continue to reinforce here. Get more Mutalus out. And continue to put on that pressure. Third gas is now mining. Jadong, does he have a transition coming? No. I do not see one. That's a lot of turrets, man. 
Even adding on a third turret here at the barracks. We've got three here. Four, five going down. Look at this fifth turret at the natural. He is very serious about holding this. And a queen's nest is going to come down now. Interesting choice here. Queen's nest, Hydra Den. We're definitely going to be going for some sort of lurker all in play here, I think. With Defiler. Coming up, killing off quite a few Marines. Pushing everything back, utilizing those Lings as well. But more Mutas have been shaved off. This group is diminishing. More Mutas on the way as the Hive starts here. Jadong spending all of his money very well. His economy is very small right now. Just 32 workers. Losing a meter for free is not very nice. Does not feel good. But he needs to keep poking in here. See what kind of damage he can do. And to slow down Rush from ever thinking about moving out. Coming back in once again. Takes one look at those turrets and decides against it. You can see that Rush has really invested a lot into all of these defenses. Even building a Valkyrie here. While going into science facility, the army size is now a little bit too big to actually contend with. And a great volley there from this one Valkyrie. Going to push everything back. Scourge are present. If he could get a catch on this Valkyrie, that might not win him the game, but it will buy him a lot of time. Valkyrie flying pretty far ahead of the marine group. A little bit vulnerable here at the front. Some scourge. Uh, oh, Sunken's coming down. Double Sunken here. Coming down. I think that is Lurker Aspect on the way right now. So he doesn't have Lurker Aspect to actually begin these Lurkers. There it is. He starts the Lurker now, finally. Fourth Sunken is about to arrive. Here we go. He's going to pull the trigger. Going for it. Going to kill the first Sunken so quickly. Great target fire here by Jadong. Or, excuse me, by Rush. And Jadong is just going to lose this. This is brutal. Oh, man. Try to fly in here with those Mutas. They were across the map thinking about trying to deal some damage. Lurkers are going to burrow, but they're immediately targeted down. GG is called. Rush breaks through. A classic Rush victory. Arriving at the front with his Marine Medic and busting through the Sunkins at the correct moment. Very, very well done by him. Jadong with the super low econ play. This game, it's not going to end up working out. You actually need to have your Mutas here with these sunken colonies to have any shot of holding this off. I think he thought that seeing the lurker eggs there and the four sunkins finished, Rush wasn't going to pull the trigger, but he just stims and... All of his Marines target fire that first one. You just go back and look at how quickly this one sunken died. It died in like a half a second. So damn quick. I was able to cut through that. And Rush takes that victory. So an even 1-1 here in this series, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.